What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Sports Mania. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my 2020-2021 um, NFL Mock Draft um, with all the teams right here on this website. Uh, last night was college football playoff, so let's get right into it. Um, yeah, this will be good, so yeah. Uh, Trevor Lawrence with the first pick, Penny Sewell, Justin Fields. You guys see it all. Um, Justin Fields, in fact, beat Trevor Lawrence yesterday. Um, but the Jaguars will be taking Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence, he's a, he did lose to Justin Fields yesterday, but of course, he's one of the best college football players we've ever seen. And I definitely think, um, the Jaguars are not passing on him whatsoever. The, um, and then next, the New York Jets we got. Um, I think this one could go either way, but I they could go Justin Fields. But in fact, I'm going to have them go in Penny Sewell out of Oregon offensive tackle. I like the pick. Um, I don't think they need Justin Fields, and I think Sam Darnold's been just fine. He was 6-2 and two as a starter last year. He's been banged up with injuries this year. So I think the um, Sam Darnold deserves a starting job um, over... Uh, Justin Fields for the New York Jets, and I think um, Justin Fields is okay not going to the Jets as well. Um, of course, I mean I think Sam Darnold just saved his chance, just saved himself on the New York Jets. Um, so that is good for him. Um, with the third pick, the Miami Dolphins have it, and they could go Micah Parsons if they want. They could go Jamar Chase, and I think they will go Jamar Chase. The wide receiver out of LSU is amazing. I mean, we all seen what he did with Justin Jefferson and Joe Burrow, but, I mean, this year he didn't have Justin Jefferson, so he's just been so good. And I think the Dolphins, they got the trade. They traded with the um, Texans, Laramie Tunzel, for this pick, and the Texans haven't been very good, so it's a lose-lose for the Texans. Don't get a top three pick, and they don't get a – um and they don't have a winning season. So, ja, um, so I think the Dolphins get the steal of the draft, or not steal of the draft, but a good, great pick in Jamar Chase. And then the Falcons, I think Matt Ryan is just fine for them. Um, I mean, the, Matt Ryan, he's had his ups and downs. He chokes a lot, definitely, um, and he hasn't really shown a a ton of promise. He got them to the Super Bowl. He won MVP, but he's not an MVP quarterback, even despite throwing 400 yards almost every game. But I think we'll go Gregory Rosu. The Falcons will go Gregory Rosu. Um, I really like what he's done at Miami. He's an edge rusher. They need help on the defensive side of the ball. They got Deion Jones, um, and they got Keanu Neal, and that's basically it on defense. Um, so I like what the Greg. I would like to see them get Gregory Rosu. Um, with the fifth pick, I think the Bengals will go Micah Parsons at a Penn State. I genuinely, don't think they need any um a quarterback or a wide receiver. I think T Higgins is fine. Um, but I think Micah Parsons is a very talented player, um, and I think definitely we could be seeing him um, go to out of Penn State, go to the Bengals. And then next, the Philadelphia Eagles with the sixth overall pick. They're eliminated from the playoffs, and they could go Justin Fields, but they got Jalen Hurts, and I think Jalen Hurts is the future for them. So I think they'll go Patrick Sertan um, or Jalen Waddle. I mean, yeah, I meant to say Jalen Waddle. Uh, this is a voiceover because the thing didn't say, but Jalen Waddle, very good player out of Alabama. Don't think he's better than Devontae Smith, but I think he's been better than Devontae Smith in recent seasons, and that's why I think he'll go higher than um, – Devontae Smith. And then finally, with the seventh overall pick, we finally, just finally, I know I haven't been, uh, I know a lot of people would think Justin Fields will go top three, but I think he will be going to seven. Um, the Jets, we we could be seeing the Jets take him or the Falcons, but um, he could be easily go number seven uh, out of uh, Ohio State. Justin Fields is amazing, um, but I don't know if he'll go top five um, just because of Sam Darnold. Um, and then with the Giants' eighth overall pick, um, I think they'll go Patrick Sertan, um, a corner. They need help on the um, at cornerback. They got James Bradbury, I, I believe. Yeah, they do. Um, and they got Eli Apple, but that's kind of it. Um, so I think the Patrick Sertan, the best corner in college football, will um, go to the Giants, just like Xavier McKinney did. Um, but we could 
as always, we could be seeing um, other picks. Caleb Farley, I think, will go to the Panthers out of Virginia Tech. Um, another great cornerback, I think, will go top 10. I think the Panthers need help at corner. Um, they, go, they got Dante Jackson, and they got uh, uh, Trey Boston. But I think Caleb Farley would be a good slot um, corner. Um, but we never, you never know. Um, but with the ninth pick, I got Caleb Farley um, out of, yeah, out of Virginia Tech. Uh, and then with the tenth pick, the Denver Broncos. I think they, if they want, they could go Kyle Pitts, but they, they got Noah Fant and they got Albert O. I don't like to say his name because it takes forever. Um, but I think they're gonna go with a big reach, and they're gonna actually go with Christian Darsaw. Um, I know that's a reach, but when you think about it. He really should. I think he should be going. He. They, it's the only guy really in the t um there that they need. He's a great offensive tackle out of Virginia Tech, and two Virginia Tech guys going back to back. I think definitely he do really doesn't need to go top ten. But who? But Andrew Thomas went four last year. Anything can happen with the Cowboys. They could go QB, but I think they're going to stick with Dak, and I don't think they need Devontae Smith. Um, so they could either go Quiddy Pay or they could go Kyle Pitts. Um, and as much as a Patriots fan as I would love to see Kyle Pitts on the New England Patriots, it's kind of hard when you have a top 10 pick, Kyle Pitts, a tight end, um, in the Patriots of the 14th pick. So I think Kyle Pitts, the tight end of, out of Florida, he is so good. Um, he's He can block. He can do anything. And I think he'll be able to um, replace Jason Witten um, at tight end for the for the um, Dallas Cowboys. And he'll go number 11 to the Dallas Cowboys with the 12th pick. Um, yeah, but the, the Kyle Pitts, he's, he's just so good. He's 6'5". He's, he, um, he's, he can, he's not amazing at blocking, but he's fast. And that's what the Cowboys could use, some speed on the offense. Um, and then with the 12th pick, the Los Angeles Chargers, I think, will go, um, either Devontae, uh, Smith or Quiddy Pay. I think they'll go Quiddy Pay. I think Devontae Smith's a bigger need. But they got Jalen Guyton. Um, they got Keenan Allen. They got Mike Williams. Quiddy Pay, they really don't have a lot on the edge. They have Joey Bosa. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it. Um, so I think, uh, the Chargers could be using a edge rusher. And I think the, um, Vikings, in fact, will actually, they have Kirk, but I don't think Kirk Cousins is a good quarterback, and I think they need a solid quarterback, and they could use a wide receiver, they could add on with, um, they could add on with Justin Jefferson, but I think they'll go Zach Wilson and a BYU. Um, this guy could controversially go top five. You never know. Um, but I really think Zach Wilson has a future in the NFL. He's a very good player at BYU, and he had 30, 33 touchdowns, which is very good this year. Um, and I think the Vikings could be taking him instead of in moving on from Kirk Cousins. Uh, and then my Patriots with the 14th pick. I think we could go Devontae Smith. I would really want Devontae Smith with Cam Newton, um, but, or I would want Kyle Pitts the most, or ETN. There's Devontae Smith, but I don't think Bill Belichick is going to take Devontae Smith. And I think we're going to be taking Trey Lance out of North Dakota State. Um, uh, I don't think Belichick really drafts first-round uh, wide receivers. He hasn't drafted a first-round quarterback in forever. Nikhil Harry was a first-round receiver, um, but he really has proved himself to be sort of a bust. And then there's Travis Etienne there, we all know. But I think Damian Harris, James White, and Sony Michelle will be just fine. And then we'll get the QB of the future, Trey Lance. And we could easily go Kyle Trask or Jamie Newman or Brock Purdy in the later rounds. But I like Trey Lance at 14. I think um, he could easily go top 10. But I think um, at 14, Trey Lance will be just fine. And then with the 15th pick, uh, the San Francisco 49ers, they could go Devontae Smith, and I would like to see that, but they do got Brandon Ayuk, and they got Debo Samuel, and they got Kittle. I don't think they're going to go with a wide receiver. Um, so I think they will go with a corner, or they'll go with Travis Etienne, because um, we all know they have a lot of problems with injuries. Uh, but 
I think they're going to be moving on from Jay, Richard Sherman. Um, they, yeah, they're going to be moving on from Richard Sherman. They don't really have any other talent at rich, um, at corner other than Richard Sherman. So I think um, they could they could go a quarterback. They could maybe go Kyle Trask, Des, Desmond Ritter, uh, Mac Jones, but they're not going to take that um, this early. So I think they'll go, um, yeah. Um, I think they'll go J.C. Horn out of South Carolina, one of the best cornerbacks in the college football, but he was very good at South Carolina, and I think he'll continue to do very well in the NFL. Um, and I think he'll fit them. He could be a replacement for Richard Sherman. And then with the 16th pick, the Raiders. Um, I think the Raiders, this is a very fun pick for me. Um, and they could go boring and go, um, like an offensive lineman or a linebacker, um, but, or they could get extreme. We all know they could get extreme, um, but they could get extreme, um, and they could go Devontae Smith or they could go ETN, but I think they're going Devontae Smith. They have Nelson Aguilar at wide receiver, but I don't really think he's done very well. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think he's really done well. Um, to, enough to be a number one receiver. And then you got Henry Ruggs and Devontae Smith, two very fast receivers. You team them up, and that is insane. Um, both Alabama receivers as well. They got the chemistry, and I think that will make the Raiders' offense so, so fun to watch um, with Devontae Smith and Henry Ruggs. So, um, yeah, I think with the 16th pick, uh, Raiders will take Devontae Smith. And then the Cardinals will take Jeremiah owosu Kormaha out of Notre Dame. Um, he didn't really do well yesterday. He didn't do much. Um, but I really like the fact that the Cardinals are going linebacker. Um, and I think they need linebacker. They got Devontae Campbell, and then they got Isaiah Simmons. But I really think Isaiah Simmons is more of a safety, and they're going to play him at safety. So I think um, uh, Jeremiah Owosu Kormaha will be just fine for them. Uh, he is, he's pretty big. He's not huge, though. Um, he's 216 and he's 6'2, which isn't very big for a linebacker. They could play him at safety if they even wanted to. Um, but he's athletic and I think definitely he's a great player for them. Um, and we'll see what the Cardinals want to do. Um, but with the 18th pick, the Indianapolis Colts, I think they. Why go ETN when you have Jonathan Taylor, Naeem Hines, and Marlon Mack? Um, they could go a wide receiver. They could go Eric Stokes. They could go Jalen Mayfield. But I think they'll go. Um, yeah, but they could go. They could. Go, I think they'll go. Um, with the man out of Minnesota, Rashad Bateman, a wide receiver. They did go uh, Michael Pittman in the second round, 34th overall, um, I believe, last season. But I think he'll be just fine for them. And he has some good size at 210 pounds. He's a four-star player. Um, and I think he'll fit in the offense just fine uh, with Phillip Rivers, if Phillip Rivers stays. And then with the 19th pick, the Washington football team, I don't think, I think definitely they could take ETN with, because they do have Anto um, Antonio Gibson, but I really don't know if they're, they are, and I think they don't need Joseph Asai. Um, so I think they'll go Eric Stokes to stack up the secondary. Their secondary isn't very good, um, but their front seven is just fine. So I don't think Joseph Asai will work out for them. Um, so I really like the Eric Stokes pick out of Georgia. He, did, he didn't really do that well um, in the Cincinnati game in the Chick-fil-A Bowl yesterday, but I think he'll just be fine and he'll make up for that with the Washington football team. Hopefully they have a name by the end of last by next season, um, that'll be pretty embarrassing if they choose a permanent name football team. Um, but I think we'll be able to team up with that secondary of Washington's. And then the 20th overall pick, the Chicago Bears. I think the Chicago Bears, I mean, they could go running back at David Montgomery. Um, they could go Joseph Asai, but they got Cleo Mack. They got, um, What's his name? I forgot his name. Uh, tell me in the comments down below. I've made a video on him the other day. But I think we will go Wyatt Davis. They need help on the offensive line. That's how um, Nick Foles got hurt for the second time. And for the That's how Nick Foles got hurt. And Mitchell Trubisky, every time you turn the television on, he's getting sacked. So I think um, the Bears need some help on the offensive line. Um, and I think he'll be a good pick for them at about Ohio State. And, they, and if they keep on sacking up that offensive line, I think they'll be in 
a deadly contender in future seasons um, for Ohio State, um, from Ohio State. Um, with the 21st pick, the Jaguars, I think they're going to take a um, an offensive lineman um, with Jalen Mayfield, offensive tackle out of Michigan. I really like this pick because Jalen Mayfield, he is um, – he, I think they need protection, and I think I really like the offense. Um, they got Brandon Linder, and they got Cam Robinson on the offensive line, but I think Jalen Mayfield could play right guard or left guard um, and could help stack up the offensive line and protect Trevor Lawrence because if Trevor Lawrence is going to go there, he if they, they want to keep Trevor Lawrence around, they got to um, protect him. And then the Browns at 22. Um, they could go Travis Etienne if they want, um, but I think Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb are fine, so I think they'll go Joseph Asai. Um, why go uh, Why go Joseph As- um Why go running back when you have two top – 20 running backs in the league. Um, but Joseph Asai to help sack up the line. They got Olivier Vernon. Um, but I think Joseph Asai will be a good pick for them. Um, he, he, out of Texas, um, I think we could be seeing the team, like a bu- team like the Bucks or the Steelers or the Saints take them. But I think the Browns will take them and try to sack up the defense. Um, cause it, we all know their offense is very good. It's just kind of the defense, the secondary. Um, and then teaming up with Miles Garrett, that'd be very good. And then the Dolphins, I think finally the set, one of the top picks, Travis Etienne will be taken. Clemson running back. Um, and the reason why I have him going so late is, c- because I don't think there's any team that really is going to want him. I mean, they got uh, they got a lot of talent around him. Um, and I think they got Gaskin. They got Burita. They got, um, yeah, they got Gaskin. They got Burita. Uh, and they got, uh, yeah, and they got um, Jordan Howard. But I think that Burita and Howard are injury prone. And I think Gaskin can't do it all himself. So I think ETN will be a good pick for the Dolphins. Um, we could be seeing a team like the Buccaneers, the Saints pick them up. Uh, or even the Washington football team, like I was saying. Uh, I would like to my Patriots to get them, um, but I think the Dolphins will take them. And then with the Ravens' 24th pick, I think they could go offensive line, but I'm not for sure if they're going to go offensive line. Uh, I think they, they got talent at Ronnie Stanley. Uh, they got Orlando Brown. So I think there's talent at offensive line, and I don't think they need it, but I think what they need most is – Probably Terrence Marshall, a wide receiver out of LSU. Sam McCaws me a very talented Texas tackle. Um, but I think Terrence Marshall Jr. would be the best pick for them. Um, at uh, wide receiver, six foot three. They, he's got some size. Um, and I don't think uh, Willie Sneed and Marquise Brown will make the cut for number one receiver. Uh, so I think he can be developed into a number one receiver for them at the 24th overall pick. And then the Titans. The Titans pick is very hard for me because I don't I'm not predicting trades in the next mock draft I might predict trades. Um but I don't think I'm they could trade down. I think they will if they do because what do they need? I mean, I think they w- they don't need a running back. That would be cool if they brought in Najee Harris so. though. Um but they could take a run it, uh offensive lineman, but the offensive line's already really good. But since I'm not predicting um, trades. I'm going to do Samuel Cosme offensive tackle out of Texas, and I don't know why I picked Najee Harris. I never picked him, um, but Samuel Cosme is a um, very talented offensive tackle out of Texas, and, um, and I think he's going to be able to help protect Ryan Tannehill, and um, he's got a lot of size at six foot seven. Um, but I really like this pick, and I think the um, Titans will too, and then the bu- um, Buccaneers. Apparently, it, it glitched and it picked Najee Harris. I have every team I'm going to be picking for, but I get I guess it glitched. Can't do anything about that. Um, so I got Najee. I guess Najee Harris. I think he would fit in there. Rod, Ronald, um, Ronald Jones. I think could go there. Lashawn McCoy. Um, the, the, you got Lashawn McCoy, Leonard Fournette. So I think he'll be good. Lashawn McCoy. I think will retire. Um, and Fournette hasn't really done much. And then the Jets, the 27th pick. I know Jets fans are not going to like this. Because, yeah, if I was a Jets fan, I wouldn't either. Because they're, I think I'm probably going to be going to offensive linemen. Main, mainly because 
I don't really think the Jets need anything else on offense other than offensive line. Just kidding. They need every, any help they can get. Um, but really, if they, they could have had Najee Harris, but they don't because the thing glitched. Um, they, they could take a tight end, but they got Herndon. in. The wide receiver, don't th- really think they need. They got Barrios. They got Crowder. Um, they could, but they got Crowder. They got Perriman. They got, uh, Mims, they got uh, tight. So I think anyone. So I think offensive line and running back are primary for them on offense. So I think they're gonna actually take an offensive lineman. Um, pretty basic for the Jets. Well, they're the Jets, so yeah. Um, so I think they'll take Eli- Elijah Vera Tucker inside offensive lineman out of USC. Um, he's a solid offensive line, and they need protection. They need to protect Sam Darnold if they're going to stick with him. They can't just go get him stud receivers because Sam Darnold can't throw the ball in 0.5 seconds if he's getting attacked by guys like the Bills defense in the Dolphins defense. So uh, he'll, I think he'll be a good pick and predict Sam Darnold. With the 28th pick, I don't think the Steelers will have that high of a pick, but I do think they'll take a tight end at a Penn State. Pat Freermuth um, at a Penn State and I think that's one position on the offense they do need. They got Andrew Villanova. Um, I don't know. That's not his name. Villanova, I think that's his name. Um, and they got Marquise Pouncey on the offensive line. They got James Garner at running back. They could use Najee Harris at running back. But since the thing glitched, they can't. Um, so I think a tight end will be good for them to match up with Vance McDonald and try to get um, Ben, try to get open for Big Ben. And then for the Saints with the 29th pick, I think the Saints need an offensive lineman. I mean, um, they don't have a lot of talent at offensive line. They got Ryan Ramzik, they got Cesar Ruiz. So I think they'll go Creed Humphrey inside offensive lineman um, out of Oklahoma. He is a, he's solid. Um, and I think he'll match up well with Cesar Ruiz and Ryan Ramsick and Teron Armstead um, on the offensive line to protect Drew Brees. If he plays another season, maybe not. Um, we could be seeing the Saints take a quarterback as well. Um, but uh, with the 30th pick, the Buffalo Bills will, I think the Buffalo Bills will either take, um, I don't know, Buffalo Bills are a tough team, um, but I think they will take offensive line because they got Mitch Morse. Mitch Morse is a solid offensive lineman, but other than that, they don't have much talent, um, so I think they could be taking, um, they, I think they'll take Rashawn Slater at an offensive tackle out of Northwestern because um, he could he could line up and protect Josh Allen. They need help on the offensive line to protect their future quarterback, possibly an MVP Q- QB, Josh Allen. And if they're going to do that, they need offensive line. They can't just say protect. And that doesn't always work. So the Packers, 31st pick, this is obvious. They're going to be taken. Kyle Trask, quarterback, because they need a third string. You know, I'm just kidding. Um, No, I, I think they'll actually take... um. Yeah, but Rashawn Slater right there. I think the Packers, they could take Kyle Trask as a joke, but the draft isn't a joke, and I think they will take um, either an offensive lineman or a uh, defensive lineman. They got Jay Tufel um, right there, but I don't really think they're going to take an inside defensive lineman. So I think they could be taking Zavine Collins, a linebacker out of Tulsa, and I think they will, in fact, um, with the 31st pick. Um, he's They don't have much talent at linebacker. They got Zadarius Smith, but that's kind of it. Um, and I think he'd be a good addition to defense and help stack up that defense to try to make a push for the Super Bowl um, in 2021 if they don't already make it in 2020. Um, in the 2020 season. And then the 32nd pick of the draft, the last pick of the draft, I think the Kansas City Chiefs will be either taken, um, I think the Kansas City Chiefs will be taken Sean Wade um, because they need help at corner. But here we go. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, Jags, uh, Jets, Penny Sewell, Dolphins, Jamar Chase, Falcons, Rosu, Bengals, Parsons. Those are the top five picks for you. Um, and then the Eagles, Jalen Waddle, um, wide receiver at Alabama, Lions, Justin Fields, Giants, Sertan, uh, Panthers, Caleb Farley, and yeah, at a Virginia Tech. Broncos, another Virginia Tech guy. Christian, I can't, yeah, um, 
So the Broncos take an offensive lineman. Uh, Cowboys Kyle Pitts at Florida. Los Angeles Chargers Quiddy Pay. Um, Minnesota Vikings Zach Wilson. Patriots Trey Lance. Um, Niners. Uh, yeah, Niners. Uh, uh, JC. Yeah, I can't. Screen's getting kind of blurry. All right. Um, Raiders. Uh, and yeah, that's that's basically my draft. Um, tell me in the comments. You guys see all the picks right here. Um, tell me in the comments down below what you guys think of this. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. I'm probably gonna be doing another video after the season ends. And I, and I may be taking a doing a soon a bold predictions draft. I'll be doing more QBs, maybe more wide receivers. Um, but I'll and but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. And if you did. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 150 subs. We're at 142 right now. So I'll see you guys next time. And um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me in the comments what you think. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.